Hey guys, welcome to Indie Case Files. We're doing it live today. We're looking at Harmony, the fall of the re reverie? Reverie. Yeah, I know how to read. I don't. I just pretend. I'm doing good, hopefully so are all of you. Alrighty then. Everything looks the same, but it feels so different. I dropped my bag in my old room. It's been ten years since I moved out of this place. Ever since the last time I managed to come back for holidays. When I was young, this island felt so small, but now I realize I was wrong about that. It's not small, it's just that I was growing up. I had my own ideas, needed some time away, alone. Back then, it felt like all the space here was meant for other, more important people. What are you doing? Hi. And by people, I mean my mother, Ursula. She's always been so purposeful, so dedicated, so focused. She casts a long shadow. Get over here. Now I find myself stepping back into the place where we lived together for so many years, the Nyads. A big residence, open to all, filled with artists and creatives. The backbone of Alma, the surrounding neighborhood. At least it was. With Ursula gone, missing, the place feels empty now, almost abandoned. I decided to go straight to my mother's room, to the heart of the problem. Everything looks familiar and everything feels strange. I heard a sound and some instinct and some instinct freezes me in place. Nobody's home. The noise emerges from somewhere inside my mother's room. A heartbeat and a gentle pearl-like rattling. A soothing sound. A call. A name, whispered, chanted. I feel compelled to open the door and... Crap, Mom was magic and never told me. Mm. 
What is that? Is that a clown? The game looks really pretty. Where, where am I? The world around me, I've never seen anything like it. An endless panorama of a limitless horizon, my head spins. <laughs> the drugs have kicked in for both her and the main characters. Thanks, chat. And there, looking at me like I'm an old friend as a girl. She seems surprised, as if my presence was a shock to her. Oh, didn't see you there. Oh god, it speaks. Take your time, Sprout. It's not every day you wake up in a new dimension. Is that why you look like a clown? My ears are ringing, head swimming. I feel like I'm in the strangest dream ever. But I take a breath and focus. There you go. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Who is this person? She puts down the game console she was playing and rushes over to me. So, I guess we've got a lot to discuss. Who... who are you? I Actually, you're Harmony for us over here. What? She seems to be looking at my clothes and what happened? Why am I dressed like a priestess? Breathe. I need to breathe. I'm Bliss. This world is reverie. And it's in big trouble. What? Both my world and yours are on the brink of collapse. Not pillaged and plundered by an invading army or something cool like that. No, this is ugly. Bad news. Collapsing from within, you know? Nope, but I'll go with it, lady. Wait, slow down, please. I was just in my mother's room, and I picked up this necklace, and... See this? A girl points to an object floating in the middle of the platform. An orb. It sort of looks like a heart, re wreathed in blue flames. It's radiating a powerful surge of emotions. How do I know this? Don't look at it for too long, Sprout. It'll bum you out. It's... incredible. This is the Forspoken Good version? It does seem like it. And yet, it's fragile. More than it has ever been. Right off the bat, the voice acting is better. I take a few steps toward it. Waves of comforting warmth and aching cold wash over me. Sensations of solitude and togetherness, emptiness and ex excess. I'm on the verge of tears, gripped by the sense of helpless sorrow beyond my control. I know who you are. And I know you have to touch the heart of reverie. The heart. Touch it! Touch it and see the future! What if I don't want to? Reverie. An intangible realm where ideas and concepts become real. Our home independent of space and time. Reverie has always been, but its existence is tenuous and depends on Brittle. Without Brittle's physicality, dreams would shatter and hope would wither. All of Reverie's... Reverie, I can say it, gravitates around the heart. A pulsating orb made of the texture of dreams. Our relationship with the Brittle is sym symbiotic. Our lives are connected. I comply. My fingers seem to go right through the surface. It's neither cold nor hot. It's softly rough. I feel a slight shock, almost in, imper, imper. Yes. What the? You're connected to Reverie now. You'll be able to travel between our world and yours. What do you mean travel? I, I have do, so many questions. I do really like the animations. Looks like you're searching for your mother. This will point you in the right direction. Introducing the Augural, an amazing tool you can use to strategize and plan out the future. Are you supposed to be echoing or did I break the game? Uh, how do I use it? The girl takes a sip of her drink and a few seconds to reply. This is simply theatrics, or is she figuring out the best way to explain it? See for yourself, Sprout. The 
This tutorial will give you all the knowledge you need to explore the story. The future is visible to you in the form of interconnected nodes. Each node contains a fragment of story that you can choose to unveil. Okay. When a node is selected, fragment information about the fragment of story appears on the right of your screen. Use this information to plan your journey through the story. Okay. This is interesting. What happened? What the hell just happened? Your gruel allows you to see the future. That's this board, you know? Before today, time was linear for you. From now on, well, it dances to your tune. This is AI Somnium 3. It's incredible. How? How come I can do that? Magic. I'm an aspiration. Me and my friends need a heart to exist. But our heart is weak. And you, you're special, Sprout. You can help us. You can save us all! Bliss attempts a smile, but it looks forced. Perhaps because I look so confused, for a moment the words mean nothing to me. But why me? And why was the necklace in my mother's room? Could this augural be the key to finding my mother? Let's start with something easy. Give me a second. I have to actually go turn on the light in my room because it's dark. Good job, bud. Good job. Can we eat your dinner like a good girl does? Huh. I got to pet a puppy. None of you can do that. Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Is she serious? The light in her eyes tells me so. She is serious. Okay, means that the only one of the next two nodes can be played. The other will be blocked forever. Choose which part of the story you want to see unfold. Okay, I see how this goes. So it's one of those where you can play, if you do this, you play it multiple times to see both sides. Let's go with dare. I wonder how you can play this game with some kind of immortal child, but I accept. Dad. Dad, show me the cutest picture of you. <laughs> cutest? Uh, I guess I can do that. Bliss smiles. And just like that, I'm back home. I walk through the rooms and point to a picture. It's me at age six, dressed for the first day of school. Don't ask me about the costume. OMG, Harmony, you're the cutest! My name's not Harmony. Everywhere I look, I see a good memory. Laszlo letting me play on the diving board while Ursula looked on in horror. Watching Nora drawing peacefully while Laszlo cooked. The few times Ursula let me have friends over for my birthday. Why does it just have Elvin on there? <laughs> Laszlo and Ursula cooking Nora's favorite meal while I finish my homework. I can't shake the strange feeling that I'm overseeing the future, learning the shape of my own path. You're a natural. Look at you traveling between Brittle and Reverie like it's nothing. Brittle. The material world where humankind lives. Humanity's actions produce egregory, egori, a liquid vital to our existence. Brittle is the world of matter, time, dimensions, and gravity. However, despite its limits, Brittle is also the land of movement and energy. Guided by the right hand, it can produce great things. We can visit it, but we can't be seen there. Isn't it dangerous, seeing the future? Bathing in what's to come, or what's happened before, is always dangerous. Melancholy is a powerful emotion. And this place is... Hippies? 
When my dad left, Laszlo entered my life and carried me through the cha change, carried us all. And he brought along his granddaughter, Nora. She brought a rush of fresh new energy. She electrified the place. We were an odd family, piecemeal, improvised, but whole. My family. What? What just happened? You made a choice. What rippled forward from it was unique and new. Take your time to understand what all this implies. New powers can take a bit of getting used to, you know? You just need to focus. Stay in the present. The memories felt... more real. You asked, right? Isn't it dangerous to blah blah and all that? Well, duh. Yeah, of course it's dangerous to live in a time that's not yours. Simple fact. And that's why you need to focus. Feet on the ground, eyes ahead, deep breath, and look into the future. I look into the future? Polly can catch a glimpse of the future, but entire parts of it sometimes remain hidden to her. Nodes with the eye shut symbol will hide all nodes behind them. Hidden nodes cannot be interacted with. They conceal all information about the fragment they contain. You will need to progress through the augural until you reach this node to reveal it and see beyond it. The augural, okay. So now we can kind of see, okay. All right, so there's a dead end, and then there's much more. Nope. I can sometimes feel, so I can feel someone else coming. Damn, this is weird. I opened my eyes again. The two paths emerged into one. Go on, what do you see? What do you feel? I sense a new being, a new force. It's getting closer. That, I believe, would be me. He's so big he shook the entire thing. A tall silhouette comes into focus before my eyes, surrounded by electric blue fish dancing in the air. Unless I don't understand what the color blue is, that's a lot more than blue. I knew Bliss was tiny, but now she looks positively minuscule. I am power. An aspiration, like our minuscule bliss over there. Power. The mighty aspiration of willpower, leadership, and strength protects reverie at all costs. The mighty sovereign yearns for the structure and conquest, and is among reverie's most influential aspirations. Power has helped create lands and reverie's infinity, building bridges and boundaries over its endless ebb of ideas. Hey, I did it. I actually said it right. You va he values action over words and prides himself on being the most trustworthy of the aspirations. From the very beginning, he has fought the void surrounding dreams to expand Reverie's domain. He has fought back many nightmares to protect it. He reads my mind, too. I'm going to have to work harder to keep them out of my head. No offense, Bliss. None taken. I prefer the term fun-sized. There's a lot of more jokes I can make. A little laugh slips out of me. Suddenly, this whole situation feels absurdly mundane, as though I've always been a part of this. You must be Harmony. Harmony. What a name. Am I one of them? Harmony. As a link between Reverly and Br Brittle, this oracle is chosen to walk a special path. Each age, a single harmony is born, bringing hope of our change to our realm. Harmony is tasked with maintaining a balance between the two worlds. They ensure that they ensure that in Aragor flows to reverie and helps us aspirations extend our influence over Brittle, infusing more dreams into human minds. Maintaining this cycle is the utmost importance. You have seen how weak our heart is. Great changes would come to pass. You might even call them cataclysmic. 
Actually, I'm, I'm curious about something. Okay, so there isn't a save. That's what I wanted to check. Okay. The ground beneath me suddenly feels shaky, unstable. Uh, what can I do? I'm just looking for my mother. I didn't ask for any of this. You now know that chance does not exist. The futures laid out before you will force your hand. They will require you to make choices. Choices that are ruthless, difficult, even painful. Choose wisely, follow your objective, and your diligence will be rewarded with a valuable resource. Ah, knew I forgot something. There's this energy called Egregor, right? It's basically how we exist in your world. It kind of tastes like, you know that blue soda? Egregor is rare and powerful. It is not to be drunk. Some choices you make will generate Egregor and bind us together. Use it wisely. What? What are you expecting from me? The aspiration meet meet the aspirations meet my doubts with a knowing look. I don't like that they can see my thoughts, read my intentions. Ah, you got it. I can tell because your mind's gone all hard. Difficult to hear. It looks like I'm getting better at pushing them away from what's in my head. We have much more to tell you, but a good leader knows what to reveal and what to leave unsaid. For now, of course. The two aspirations look at each other. Something is shared in their glances. An emotion, a memory, but I don't know what it is. I'll f need to find out my by myself. The key is your mother, Harmony. Her disappearance must be linked with what happened here. A pause, they glance at each other. Some of our number are lost. Scattered. And we work better if we're a team. How many of them are there? But that's for later. Right now, the priority is your mother. Exactly. We must find her. Or else... Your heart will get weaker? I look them in their eyes. The look in their eyes tell me I'm right. Find your mother. Explore the futures. I nod. The view from up here is... Okay, we're turning that off. My head feels heavy. So much has been dropped on me. So much. I need to close my eyes. And I faint. A new objective mode has been revealed. Objective nodes are marked by a ray of light shining from their center. Try to reach them to progress through the story. Use X. Okay. go a little bit longer on this one. I can tell right away that I'm not in reverie anymore. The sun over Atina is hot and dry. I stretch out my arms, feeling the muscles there resisting. A minute, I just need a minute to think this through. I came here to find my mother, discovered a necklace that transported me far away. And I'm now able to instantly travel between worlds and talk to gods. Is that it? That wasn't a dream. All my studies into the human mind, all my research, I've never heard of anything like this. It wasn't a seizure or hallucination. It's good to know that when you have a seizure, you can see a god. Wasn't expecting that one. This was all the legends and tales my mother wrote about in her poetry. All the stories she told me as a kid. An invisible world opened up in front of me with the, the augule. I need to act. I need to embrace this. These two nodes are blocked by a barrier. Barriers block access to certain nodes until they are removed. Okay. Here are crystals you seek. Do you 
Do you see the symbols as part of the two nodes? Progress through the augural and play one of them to gain a crystal and break the corresponding barrier. Crystals can materialize in different forms depending on which aspiration they are bound to. Yeah, I know the, the, the name of the game isn't on the, the thing. You guys will get it when it goes on YouTube. I walk back inside. My head's still swirling with words, names, predictions. And then... Nora. I can hear her footsteps outside the room. Knowing her, she's about to barge in. I rub my eyes and run my hands through my hair, trying to wake from reverie. Polly? Okay. I can feel tears in my eyes. A sweet taste in my mouth, static electricity, grazing my shoulders and arms. Hey, you're here! Nora, come here. She crosses the room and we hug. It's the first human contact I've had in months. She feels so good, so warm and familiar. How are you? Good! I mean, fine, considering what's going on. It's okay. We'll find her. I know we will. So much has happened. Tell me. Hold on, I need some coffee. It's keeping my brain from rotting. She drinks coffee now? She's definitely older. She's, def she's definitely older. A young woman. In the kitchen, Nora makes us both coffee and launches into, well, about eight different stories at once, all tangled together. She hasn't changed, always carrying an entire world of plots and characters and charming adventures with her. A Noraverse of energy. And yeah, Grandpa's gone through all five stages of grief, though for a while I thought he was stuck on denial. I smile as she hands over a huge mug filled to the brim with caffeine. <sighs> Nothing beats a really cheap, super strong coffee. Oh god, you followed me. Can she see you? Oh, no. No, no, you're fine. Just don't start talking to yourself. Weirds people out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm talking so much. I can't believe it's the first time you've been back in years. Okay. Yeah, it's... You know. Oh, I know. Things were difficult with Ursula. It doesn't feel good to admit my mother always showed more love and affection to Nora than to me. I'm not jealous, Nora deserves love, but... It's hard to stop thinking about the reason behind it. Was I harder to love? But she... She'd been different lately. We had a fight before she went missing. Is it me? Or does her voice sound like it was pitched down and slowed? It's weird. It sounds like her voice was pitched down and slowed. It might just be the echoing effect, but it's weird to me. Ursula was upset with you. No, no, not to the level of Hogwarts legacy. Nora's always gotten along well with my mother. I can't remember the last time they fought. Have you heard about all the job openings at MK? Nora wants to join MK? A few months ago, she was telling me how intrusive and problematic they were. I'm sorry whenever I see that word. I drink Pando. I really, really need to actually get that thing working. The city's getting more expensive by the minute, and the pay's good, and it's interesting work, I guess. Did I mention the pay? Because Paul, we're barely getting by here. Well, I need to get more drink. And there's this school I'd like to go to. A rather expensive school. Go get a job. But Ursula felt I was betraying myself, and we had a fight, and I had to sleep at a friend's place for a couple of days. That bad? I just needed some space. Some air. The shiver of static electricity is back through my fingers, up my back, and the necklace feels lighter around my throat. I know MK isn't perfect, but I can't live here forever. No way I can move out without a job. MK isn't perfect, but it's not a sentence I thought I'd hear from Nora's mouth. What do you think? 
As I think about how to answer, I feel the weight of the decision. This is the kind of choice Bliss was talking about. Get a job. Bliss, this is what she wants to hear. Support and no judgment. Power. She doesn't want to hear this, but it's good for her. Can I actually see what it is? Huh. I, I will get the little little guy set up for you guys. Uh, hmm. Let's go with... Let's go with that one. I'm curious what this is going to lead to. Do it, Harmony. But she'll be disappointed and... You are about to tell her what she needs to hear, not what she wants to hear. The more I think about it, the more I feel he's right. Time to put on my big sister cap. Maybe it's just me. But... I can't picture you in a monoconzern uniform. I know. I know. But the pay is... It would change a lot for me. She's conflicted, and I don't think she's expected me to reel her back in so quickly. How long has she been thinking about this? No, you're right. It's... it's not a good idea. They've been increasing security all over the island. MK is everywhere these days. Hard to avoid. And I know I won't change anything by myself, but... Her heart is heavier. I wish I could take this burden off of her, but she rests... but the rest is up to her. You cannot take back your words. Moving forward is the only way to travel this road, Harmony. You did well. Mm, sorry, it was... No, it was a bad idea. Can I have a hug? No, go get a job. I don't need to be asked twice. Her warmth is contagious. You know I didn't mean to make you feel guilty, right? I know. Don't worry. I'm tough on the inside. Of course you are. She smiles. I smile back. I'm realizing that from now on, my relationships will be affected by my power. This is a heavier burden than I thought. This is good. <laughs> the hug, I mean. It is. Nora squeezes harder. Then she releases me. We're both recharged, both forgiven, both at peace. Come on. I guess we should go find Laszlo. Yeah, I could do with a drink. And maybe passing out and forgetting about the necklace and these two weird... I stop the thought before it expands beyond my control. Family first. Because that's why I'm here, isn't it? Family? So we'll do one more node for this review. Collected a crystal. Crystals are collected during the chapters and are not kept when you move to the next one. The barrier has fallen. You can now reach the objective node. Those are not blue fish. There's a, not a single blue. A shock, a brief pain behind my eyes, a bright light. When I return to my senses, I'm not on Atina anymore. I'm back in reverie. You have chosen well thus far. Would you stop transporting me without permission? Is this your... your realm? Indeed. A place of strength. Of fortitude. A gust of dry wind pushes us inside the tower. The cold stone that surrounds us makes me feel like I'm walking down the barrel of a gun. Not a bluefish. The power takes an unhurried seat on a monumental throne. A movement rehearsed a thousand times. But a realm implies a kingdom, a title, a crown. This is all for show, a power play. No pun intended. We aspirations are neither kings nor queens nor anything in between. Neither deities nor demigods. We simply are. 
Aspirations are intrinsically linked to your world and your kind. And we never had a clue about any of it. Have you always been here? Always. Since the dawn of your kind. Since your first dream, your first wish, your first complex thought. <laughs> it must come as a shock to lose the luxury of your ignorance. Boy, aren't you something. Aspira the aspirations have been here all this time, everywhere, guiding all of our choices. So many questions, my mind's awash with words and doubts and queries. Do we elect you? He shakes his gigantic head back and forth, his mouth twisting into a smile. The concept of democracy seems alien to power. The same way a river elects the sea into which it flows. For a second, it feels like his throne is made of whitewashed bones, crushed hopes, tears, sweat, and blood. You sense that we aspirations are much more than we appear. We give off an energy that is neither good nor bad harmony. Like gods. I'm not trying to make sense. I'm trying to make sense of it all, trying to make it work in my head. Gods are invented. And inventions can be killed. No. No. I'm sure we can find a way to kill you two if we really wanted to. A sedan-sized fist hammers the arm of his throne. We are much more. Greater than gods. But our strength is limited to this place. We need a firm hand to restore our world. And my world too, right? If I understood, we're connected. You need us humans. And we need you. A smile, the smile disappears from his face. True. True. Use the Orgrel. Explore your future. Establish and assert your own will. Follow my path and we can change the world. Our worlds. Because whatever is about to come, dear Harmony, even I cannot predict what it will be. He raises his hand and snaps his fingers. And just like that, we're done with the review. If you guys do want to see more of this, please let me know. I do like the idea of this. The voice acting is very, very well done. The animations are superb for an indie game. And that's not an insult toward indie games. This is something you'd see a AAA doing. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for checking out the video. Good night.